this town. The town of Okima, Oklahoma. Now Okima just happens to be the town where Woody Guthrie was born. Which just happens to be the reason that I was there. Now it's a small town about 70 miles east of Oklahoma City on a highway they call Interstate 40 that runs off of Route 66 out of Oklahoma City sometimes known as the Will Rogers Highway now they call it the Will Rogers Highway because Will Rogers was so famous and both Woody and Will are well known for their great American spirits Will Rogers is the most famous Oklahoman in the whole country. And Woody Guthrie is the most famous Oklahoman in the whole wide world. Now even with this kind of worldwide fame, there are those that claim and insist that Woody was a communist. I ain't no communist, but I've been in the red my whole life. It was one of his jokes, but it did stand up for the common folks. And there were lots of folks. You know, Kima, the last time I was there, to celebrate Woody's too short of a life, were almost too many songs. And it was a hot and a dusty day. So I decided to go into town and get myself a cold drink. So, I decided to go to the only place I knew of in Okima to get a cold drink, which was a place called Brick Street, which was the place where they would have, at that time, the parties after the festival show. So I got off on Woody Guthrie Street and I headed toward town. I took a couple lefts until I found myself on a rocky road. But I couldn't find a place to park because there were so many people in town, so I drove down for a block or so until finally I found a place to pull in. So I pulled in, and as I got out of my car, I hear this voice say to me, Are you going to Brick Street? And I said, Yeah. And she said, well, if you go on the Brick Street, you can't park there, because that's parking for my bar, the Rocky Road Tavern. And I said, well, where's that? She pointed behind her, and she's right there. Right there, that's my bar. And there's so many people in town that there's no place for them to park. And if even if anybody knew where my bar was and wanted to come there, they wouldn't be able to find a place to park. So you're going to have to move it up a couple blocks. I said, okay, I understand, I'll move my car, but after I do, I'm going to stop into your place and have a drink, and she said, well, if you're going to do that, then you don't have to move your car, and I said, all right, and I followed Lou Johnson to the Rocky Road Tower, okay. where she proceeded to buy me a drink, she offered me my choice between a light beer and a Bud Light. I said, hell, I'll take a light. Well, she introduced me to the people that were in there, mostly her family and friends, because everybody was over at Brick Street. But we had a nice visit and a good laugh about how Lou had come out to hassle me about parking and then ended up buying me a drink. Oklahoma Hospitality. So we said our goodbyes and I went back to the festival site and I played the show. been back to Okima every year since. But if you're ever 
traveling through that part of the country on Interstate 40, maybe coming out of Oklahoma City off Route 66. If it's hot or if it's dusty and you need a cold drink, then I suggest you get off of Woody Guthrie Street and go towards town. Take a couple lefts until you find yourself on that rocky road. Go down. yourself a cool dream. And when you do, don't forget to raise your glass and say a toast to Woody Guthrie and the common folks. Thank you very much, it's great to be here. Hope to see you next year.